Hello, good morning, good evening. We're going to talk about systems thinking today as part of the Essential Rainwater Harvesting course. And Michelle's here with me, I'm Peter Coombs. And um, this is actually my research area. So I'm gonna take a lot of joy in talking about where we belong in the system and, and how we impact on the system. Um, so here we go. Um, I wanna start with some issues that seem to be complex, but they need to be talked about. So the this slide that I'm showing you is called a realistic solution space. And the two graphs on this space were um, came from my PhD and also won national awards in Australia years later. So apologies, but they make a point very well. The, the top graph is an economic graphs. It's costs and price versus quantity. And what tends to happen when you're doing small scale systems, it's assumed they have no benefit, no value. Um, and that quite wrong assumption is usually based on the perspective of a smaller scale interest in the system. So here that's the uh, red dotted line is the costs and price for a private entity, say a water utility. Um, and you can see uh, they're only concerned with their own costs and price and profit. Whereas the, the solid red line there is the cost to whole of society from getting water supply from a utility. And you can see they're very big differences between what society pays and what the utility pays. Um, and those differences are known as um, the increased cost to society from this service uh, that's not counted in the price of your of your water supply from your utility is what's known as a negative externality. So it's often claimed that small scale systems have no real benefits. They don't make any difference, but that's only because that negative externality, which is the red arrow going upwards on there, that's increasing the cost and price is not counted. Um, of course, there are all sorts of negative externalities um, from water supply, which we'll, and which we'll talk about in this systems part of the course. Some of them is um, reducing flows in rivers and uh, losing habitat and quality, taking water away from other parts of the community that are downstream. And there's, there's a whole range of issues. So the blue arrows, so we'll start the blue lines, so the, the, the dotted blue line is demand, say, for water, demand for the private goods supplied by the water utility. Um, but people are aware of that and they need to conserve water. So you, you have this positive externality, which is the blue arrow going to the left, and you, because they're conscious of the whole of society effects, and, and most people are in some way or another. Uh, so it changes that demand for that good to the dark blue line um, and when you do things like rainwater harvesting permaculture that's reducing your demand on regional water resources you're producing these positive externalities uh, that's changing the cost and impact um, but they're not counted in more traditional thinking but if we use systems thinking, we are counting this because these things are real. And if we go down...